My goal for the last few days that we have class is um, to review the first thing you'll do in Algebra 1 next year, which is solving equations. So Tuesday's assignment, I just did very, very simple ones where you had to uh, solve one and two step equations. I didn't really think it would be worth my time and your time to, to do a video over that. Um, but I am going to do two more videos and then two more assignments. So uh, today, Wednesday, you'll have a video. Thursday, you'll have a Google Form assignment. Next Tuesday, you'll have a video. Wednesday, you'll have a Google Form assignment. And then technically Thursday is the last day of school, but um, we, you won't have any new assignments on that day. So that's it. Basically, um, four days left. Two videos and two assignments. So let's start this video. Um, so when you solve equations, remember that you first need to simplify Uh, each side completely. Second, if um, each side has a variable, eliminate one first. And then solve by doing the order of operations backwards. Okay, and that's where we said if you look at the order of operations, so we have parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. We said that first get rid of addition, subtraction, then get rid of multiplication, division, then get rid of an exponent, and then break apart parentheses. So we're going to get into some that are a little more complicated. Um, we won't have any with variables on both sides to this week. Next week, I'll, I'll do variables on both sides again. But you will, you will have more than one step. You'll have to simplify on all these that, um, that you see today and that you'll have for homework tomorrow. So I got five examples I'd like you to watch, and that will be your only assignment for today. So take notes over these five. All right, with number one, I have 7x minus 3 plus 2x equals 24. So if we look at the left side of the equation, we have like terms, 7x and 2x. So combine those, we get 9x minus 3 equals 24. Now the left side is as simple as it can get. The right side is as simple as it can get. So now it's time to solve. Again, we're going to start with addition and subtraction because they're the lowest on the order of operations. So to get rid of subtraction, I'll use addition. And now I have 9x equals 27. Divide both sides by 9, and then x is 3. Remember, you can substitute back in to check your answer. 7 times 3 is 21, and then 2 times 3 is 6. So 21 minus 3 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. So it does check out. Right. Let's look at another one. So number 2. Negative 18 equals 3x plus 4 minus 5x plus 6. So the left side is as simple as it can get. The right side, we have terms with variables and constants. So we got a lot of combining to do over there. Uh, 3x and negative 5x combine and make negative 2x. 4 and 6 
make plus 10. So now both sides are as simple as they can get. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. Again, I'm going to get rid of addition or subtraction first. So I have negative 28 equals negative 2x. Divide both sides by negative 2. A negative over a negative is a positive, so I get 14. Look at number three. We have three times the quantity of two X plus four equals 48. Okay, so now we have uh, some parentheses where we're going to use our distributive property. Right. If you remember way back in August, uh, we watched the, uh, the Dirty Hippie making the uh, trying over the double rainbow. This is when, I, when we brought this up. So we have 3 times 2x, which is 6x. 3 times 4, which is 12. And that equals 48. So I just multiplied across those parentheses. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Get rid of my constant. Now I have 6x equals 36. Divide by 6, and x is 6. Right, two more to go. We'll stay with the distributive property. So for number four, I have five plus two times the quantity of four X plus three minus five X equals five. Okay, so the number one mistake that people make is that they want to take five plus two and get seven. As you simplify, you have to follow order of operations. So we'll start with parentheses. Yes, there are parentheses, but parentheses doesn't mean do anything that's touching the parentheses. It means do anything inside the parentheses. Inside is 4x plus 3. There's nothing you can do there. Those are not like terms. There aren't any exponents. This is multiplication. So I have to use that distributive property first, which is why taking 5 plus 2 would be wrong. We would be adding before multiplying. So now I have 5 plus 2 times 4x, which is 8x, 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 5x equals 5. Uh, 5 and 6 make 11. 8 minus 5 is positive 3x. Get rid of our constant, so subtract 11. I have 3x equals negative 6. Divide by 3, a negative and a positive, when you divide, give you a negative 2. And one last example. We have 3 minus 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 4 equals 23. So just like in the last example, you do not want to take 3 minus 5 first. You have to do the multiplication here. So we're going to distribute not 5, but negative 5. So I'm going to drop that 3. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Here's a big time mistake people make. They want to say that this is minus 20, but that's wrong. A negative 5 times a negative 4, a negative times a negative is a positive 20. Equals 23. So combine like terms. Negative 10x plus 23 equals 23. Subtract 23. 
negative 10x equals zero. And a lot of times people get stuck here or they give me some weird answer because for whatever reason, when zero comes up, people overcomplicate it. If that said 100, you would just go ahead and divide by negative 10. Well, zero is a number just like 100 is. So you do the same thing. You would just go ahead and divide by negative 10. And then zero divided by anything is zero. So zero is our solution. All right, short and sweet today. There's your five examples. I just kind of wanted to throw that, those out there as a refresher. Uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday, you will have uh, some of these to do on a Google form. When you do it on Google form, the only thing you type in is the answer, uh, the number. All right, so uh, if this was one of them that shows up on Google form on Thursday, you submit zero. Do not put in x equals zero. That just makes more work for me. I have to go back and check all that stuff out. So uh, make it easier on me and just put in the number. All right, we're almost there, guys. A few more days left.